I'm just trying to find the perfect angle here. Hello, welcome back, or welcome to Kirsten Arts. I'm Kirsten, if you didn't already know. Hey, I haven't recorded a video in a minute, in a bit, but every time I started trying to record something, it would just be mediocre. But for some reason, whenever I start creating or trying to record my process, it just does not go right. Anyway, I wanted to show you some of the things I've been working on, just some of the little studies I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of those little things and I'm really liking how my progression is turning out. It's actually happening and it's working. With that being said, let's go check out some of my new artwork. Okay, so this is a painting of mine, obviously. I did this more recently, like literally a week or two ago, and I really wanted to paint a full body in a pose other than standing. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just use myself as a reference. It looks kind of sad, it's called Gen Z, but it's just about, you know, being stressed, anxious, but overall happy um, and just at the same time and that whole feeling, but yeah, that's a painting. So I've also been doing a lot more videos of my older artwork. For some reason, I felt like I could not post my paintings more than once or twice because I felt like it would be annoying, like, oh, I'm supposed to see this painting more than once or twice. I'm trying to break out of that. For some reason, that's something that I taught myself and I need to really unlearn it because people don't get tired of seeing your work if you know your content's good and you know whatever just post it and show your confidence in it and stop talking to yourself like that that's what i had to tell myself okay so that was one of my paintings that i just finished that was literally i finished it last night very proud of it it is supposed to be me in kind of a sad state i told you i just finished it last night and it's oil paint so it has not dried yet and here is this one. This is a big one. My newest large painting. My easel is also broken. I need one of those because I am an artist. How do you be an artist without a fully functioning easel? This part of my easel is the part that's broken. The whole kind of like twisty thing came out. I tried to glue it back. That obviously is not going to work because it's a whole technical thing behind this thing i don't know so i guess i'm gonna have to just buy a new easel so now i just have to push it up or take it off i might as well just take it off it doesn't even work i think i needed a new easel anyway i feel like you shouldn't run through an easel in a year i feel like that shouldn't be i, I only got this thing literally probably a year exactly from right now i mean i guess i used it i use it so often every single day probably for hours on end and I guess it just wear and tear, but I feel like you shouldn't go through an easel every year. Maybe you do, maybe that's something that you do go through every year, but I need a new easel. Can't be an artist without an easel. All right, here is my big one. Okay, so the whole concept for this painting was for me to just paint a whole bunch of people going about their lives. Um, they're all black figures, but you know, people with different skin tones, different hair textures, different hairstyles, curl patterns, um, and just everything in between. It's not totally finished yet, gotta do that, but for the most part, it's almost done. I tried to record the process on this one. Where is it? This one. And it just turned out terrible. It turned out terrible. I posted it on TikTok and I was like, this is really embarrassing. So then I posted another video of me correcting it. I think it turned out way better. Could it use some tweaking? Yes. But am I gonna do that? I think it looks fine. And I don't wanna like tweak it and then end up ruining it because that happens if, when you like stare at stuff too long. But for the most part, it's basically, it's basically done. It's basically there. The sidewalk in general, I think looks a little interesting, but it's a painting. It's a painting, who cares? I meant to do that. If you didn't know, I'm a college student. Am I on campus right now? No. I'm taking online art school right now. That's what I'm doing. You have to take, you know, your art history courses. I'm taking art, like art history one and two right now. I don't know how that works, but they let me take it, so. And I have no studio classes, which I'm okay with. I have a weird love-hate relationship with studio classes. You know, I love, I think I, mm, do I have a hate-hate relationship with studio classes? I may. Um, what do I like about it? Hold on. We might need a minute. I'll start with the thing I don't like so it, it sounds a lot more positive once I figure out 
what the positives are. The downside of studio classes is that, you know, you're kind of getting into a class setting with people who are on a bunch of different levels and you never really know what you're getting into if the person next to you is just taking this class because it's a requirement so they don't really care or if you're the person next to you is like the best artist on campus and you know they're showing up and showing out every single day and that's kind of hard on your self-esteem or the teacher can i say something okay studio class teachers drawing teachers painting teachers sometimes they can be very condescending they think a lot of times people of our generation don't know how to do real art my teacher has told me this before not specifically me but the entire class that our generation does not know what real art is okay before i continue i just want to rephrase really quick um he said something more along the lines of we don't really know how to draw and we don't really know how to paint realistically that's it because we draw from screens we paint from pictures and photos we don't paint or draw from an actual live in-person reference therefore we don't know how to draw which i understand where you're coming from but that's not necessarily true i have been drawing my entire life and painting since 2017 um and there are a lot of techniques that i've picked up throughout that time frame looking at your reference and making sure the proportions are right art is subjective i don't think anyone knows what art really is i don't like when teachers be doing that that's one of the downsides sometimes they're condescending you're using all of your time that you want to use for even your own art for classwork that you don't necessarily really love that's just my opinion that's just the slight downside of studio classes they just take up so much time and sometimes you're just like looking at your own canvas and your own easel and your own paintings that you've been working on like i want to work on that but i have to work on this color wheel right here and then the positives you really do learn something you might feel like in the moment it's just like eh, what am i doing what is this but you really actually do learn something like i still take a lot of the techniques from my drawing class and my painting class and use them in my own art you know those downsides they sometimes they get to you they do i do have some other new things that i would like to show you so okay these are kind of my old studies that i did when i first started doing studies so the first one i'm going to show you is a more recent one which is a portrait that i drew from a picture that i took i was trying to do more of a color study i painted this really quickly it's not perfect obviously the picture that i took there was a lot of colors going on in her face did i achieve it not necessarily i don't think so that's why i stopped i was watching these videos on instagram of these artists doing like portraits from far away and they're the the colors in the face are just so accurate and on point that it just it just looks like i can't even explain the way it made, i was just like wow this is absolutely insane but anyway next study i'm gonna show you is a clothing study that i did because i wanted to make sure that i knew how to do clothing paint clothing on bodies before i got started on like a bigger project I definitely showed this one on TikTok before, like I posted on TikTok. I love the pants, okay? These, I can't explain how I did that. The pants, the pants, the pants, they look amazing. Like it even has a belt. The fabric, look at the, look at the, the folds in the fabric. It just looks absolutely, I mean like I'm not even one to like give myself that big of a pat on the back, but I thought that that painting looked pretty cool. Okay, and then the shirt here and the jeans, I think also look very good. I love the cuffs on the jeans. The cuffs on the jeans, again, don't know how I did that, just looking at a reference. And then I put like a little outline just to emphasize the where the jeans start and end, you know. Also, same with this shirt. Shirt's interesting. I'm not a fan of painting white fabric because the shadows just kind of throw me a little bit. Um, you don't want them to be like, you don't want the shadows to be black. Okay, and then this was another study that I did. Um, don't mind her face. Her face was not the focus. Um, so don't look at that. But the clothing, I wanted to do someone sitting down. So I found a picture on, I think, Pinterest or something and quickly just drew a quick little sketch. I did shoes. I didn't realize how difficult shoes are to paint. Painting shoes is an issue with me. I'm not a fan of painting shoes. I'm, I was just working on like the folds in her pants, the creases in her jacket, the hoodie, the folds in her hoodie, and just trying to make it look as realistic as possible, but also with like, I like things looking realistic, but not hyper realistic, if you know. Like, I don't, I, I love hyper realism or photo realism paintings, but for me, 
I really like corn. <laughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to, I just, I just, for me, I really like when paintings look real, realistic, but not too realistic. But that's just my style. I have another study I wanted to show you. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this thing so much. I'm, oh no, it got like other paint on it. But I wanted to show you this painting because it was a mini, it's tiny, right? This is not the painting, it's on the other side. But I absolutely love this painting. Here's the painting. Wait, wait, wait. Right, ready? I don't know what it is about this painting. Can it focus on the painting and not my face? I love how the features on the face are not defined, but they're defined enough for you to know that it's a face. That's all, that's all, that's all I have to say. But yeah, those were some of my newest paintings that I'm actually really proud of. Those are some of my newest studies that I'm very proud of. Studies are actually really helpful. You might be like, it's a waste of time. I just want to work on pieces, like my real pieces. But studies really do grow your skill level. Like they really, really do. And I didn't work on studies before. I didn't do that because I was just like, you know, it's a waste of time. I should just work on paintings and get paintings done. But studies are so, they're so cute. Just do them. They're, they don't take too much time and they allow you to like paint without being worried about messing up. That's what art I think is all about, experimentation. Just do tiny studies and you'll be fine. You'll do great and you will advance. But anyway, I digress and I am done talking. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, it was really, I hope it's quick. I don't know. I, I, I just keep talking so it might not be quick but hopefully it's it is quick. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate watching you watching the video because these are some of the pieces that I'm really proud of right now. My Instagram and TikTok is at Kirsten Arts. I also have a new personal TikTok at it's dot Kirsten H. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to have you in the next video watching me. Um, I never know how to end these. I'm done. All right. Bye. No. No. All right. Bye.